President Mills, do you have any uh, guidance for us? Ghana is on a steep trajectory in terms of reducing hunger and malnutrition. How do we connect the dots and make sure these private investments result in fewer malnourished children? Well, we have recognized that we need the private sector. And there are certain things that we must do as government. When it comes to infrastructural development, we cannot expect the private sector to do that. Sometimes even land acquisition is a problem which we can best handle. And of course, also getting the farmers to realize that they need to enter into a partnership to those who are coming to invest in their areas. We also involve the traditional authorities. And of course, our Ministry for Agriculture is playing a very, very important role uh, in all of this. One area is just of providing the marketing opportunities. Another area that we keep stressing to them is agro-processing. We have had a problem in the years when uh, agricultural production has been good with post-harvest losses. And therefore, just sitting down with them and then letting them know what problems we have. And I believe that the most important thing for us to show our good faith, our willingness to work with them to ensure that the partnership that we have is mutually beneficial. Excellent. Thank you very much. And uh, Mr. Mellis, we've, uh, we recognize that you know, so many people have associated a mental image of hunger uh, with Ethiopia. And at the same time, because of actions in the public sector and maintaining strong public investments in agriculture, uh, you were able to protect millions of Ethiopians during the recent drought from needing food aid, and food assistance. Uh, could you speak to, uh, even as we're launching a new alliance to engage the private sector, could you speak to some of the comments you've shared with us privately about how important it is that we live up to our commitments to invest in, in public investment and public institutions? <laughs> Ultimately, uh, agricultural transformation in Africa is going to be a partnership between the smallholder farmers and the private sector. But the most important actor here is the smallholder farmer. That 70% of the population. Security. 70% 70% of the population in Africa. Excuse me, sir. Where are we have security help, please. Okay, thank you. We've heard from you, and we appreciate that. Seventy percent of the population in Africa is small older farmers. So, without transforming their livelihoods, <clears throat> there is no future for agriculture uh, in Africa. So, at this stage, uh, the role of the uh, private sector can only be to supplement the small-scale farm. There is the issue of rural roads, water supply systems, irrigation infrastructure. All of these require public investment. Without public investment, even the private sector cannot do what it is supposed to do. So we need private sector investment, yes, and we need more of it. But we also need public investment. We in Africa are doing all we can. As I said, most of our countries are moving towards 10% of their budget invested in agriculture. But we need partnerships. Uh, in, this morning, the president was talking about the Nakila Initiative, which is $22 billion of uh, money promised. We want the money promised to be delivered, as the president was saying. And uh, we need that for public investment in infrastructure. We also need uh, the developed countries to do something about trade. Because when you subsidize your farmers, our farmers who cannot be subsidized by poor governments cannot compete. In the European Union, for example, every cow earns about $2 per day. Now, that's more than the average African farmer gets. And so if the subsidies were to be dealt with, we would have a better chance of trading our way out of poverty. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. And I think that highlights as we transition to the next section of this panel, 
an important point that President Obama reaffirmed, which is we will live up to our commitments. The accountability report released on Saturday, I think, will demonstrate uh, a willingness and an absolute commitment to do that, and that we take forward the desire to uh, maintain high levels of public investment in agriculture as the precondition to an effective private sector partnership. Um, I'll now turn this over to uh, the, the wonderful and uh, results-oriented development minister from the United Kingdom, Andrew Mitchell, to bring and, and interview our private sector guest. Andrew, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> 